hey, ladies, since I did like a very, very long response to this train wreck by uh, fraud and um, failure, <laughs> I decided I wanted to take that little part where they kicked this woman off, where Myron just basically gets emotional and use profanity towards her. And I, I want to stop this narrative and I want you all to stop allowing these men to control the narrative that only women get emotional. This is not true. Okay. You're going to see that the men on this podcast, especially Myron gets very, very emotional. So we're not going to be painted as the villains because we do embrace our emotions, but the men don't. And we're going to, I'm going to walk through this and it's not going to take that long, but I just want to show you body language and how these men are either oblivious to the body language or they just don't care. So let's start with this young lady. I was very impressed by her showing. Uh, she was very good. Very, she did not take any mess and she was in her femininity, which threatens Myron, who is th basically we can just say he is gay. He is on a down low. I'm not using that as an ad hom. This man is very effeminate. He does things that most homosexual men will do is will be catty, will be sassy, will get the last word, will talk about you behind your back, will loud talk you, interrupt you, but you are not you are not allowed to interrupt him. He will talk over you, but he, he don't want you to talk over him. He will bully you because he is the man and you are the woman. And because he is sincerely jealous that he too is not a woman and he has to compete with us for the same type of men. We are enemies based upon his terms, not our terms. So let's start off with this young lady. And then we're going to get right to the part where he just loses his mess. Cause I wanted to be in full context. You know, a lot of people, a lot of cowards would like to say, Oh, that was taken out of context. That was taken out of context. Well, I'm going to show the full context where he starts to lose his mind. Here we go. You're saying that you're being useful through talking about these topics. But what if we talked about harmonizing this dynamic instead of shitting at each other and slamming each other and just finding the gray area that works for Who's people and humans and working for a collective consciousness instead of just being at a war with our generous. How does okay, see, so let me be very honest okay. about I didn't see anything was wrong with what she said. So she said, instead of us fighting against each other, we should come together in harmony and work together because I don't care how much these men get off on the whole uh, slander, dehumanizing and bashing women in a way of seeking revenge. We understand that the red pill, especially Andrew Tate, has monetize this. Uh, Myron and Walter has monetized this, bringing on very attractive women that are unattainable by men, your average men, and therefore as a, as a way of seeking secondhand vengeance, they will vicariously live through Myron and cheer him on as he attacks them. They also will get their hand in attacking these women and their super chats. So this is just nothing but revenge, a, a revenge video to go and punish women for being beautiful, for being sexy. This is a dangerous man too. So if you see a man like that, who's not gay, uh, and he has these type of characteristic ladies, stay away from him. This. I get it. You know, the, the woo woo, hunky dory, kumbaya stuff. But problems don't get solved when you talk in circles like you do and not necessarily addressing problems and issues face to face. That we do on our podcast. We talk about issues. We say what it is. We confront it. Actually, you don't. You don't do that. What you do is you attack women. You humiliate women. You degrade women. You don't solve no problem. I have never seen any woman. And, and then you try to bully women. And it's effective, I must admit. You, you're very effective in making women say what you want them to say. But they're just going to do like Pearl and just repeat the talking points so that you can just basically give them money, follow them, sign up to their OF, you know what I'm saying? 
DMs and slip into the DMs. They're doing the manipulation technique and they're not sincere because they realize, oh, if I really want to get money, if I really want to play this game, let me sit up here and repeat their talking points and not actually tell them what I really think. Because no woman is convinced that what Myron is saying is actually, first of all, logical and is effective. So there's that. You, you kind of dance around it. Oh, no, it's okay. You, it's, you, you make your own reality. You make your own world. Listen, yeah. we, you live on, we live on planet Creator Earth. Of your own reality. And there's this things. You are. See, You're this, powerful and don't, don't let anyone else this tell is ridiculous. you otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Don't let anyone. I love this woman. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't get and what you can't get. Don't let anybody tell you what's not possible. It, it, even, if some, even if their goals are unrealistic, why do you care? Why, this is what I don't understand. Why do you men care if women's standards are too high? How does that affect you? Oh, does that affect you because you don't have a chance? A real man never argues with a woman. I'm going to say this again. A real alpha man, a real man who is secure in his manhood, does not lower himself to argue and bicker with a woman. Now, I have gay male friends. We argue all the time. It's out of love. And sometimes we just be sassy with each other. But that's what gay men do. That's what insecure men do, too, who are heterosexual. But I've never seen an alpha man. And I'm, I'm speaking from experience with my dad. My dad is about as alpha as they come. I have never, ever seen him argue and just just straight up yell with a woman. He just basically stands there, let her say what she got to say, and he keeps it moving. But Myron doesn't do that. Myron is very effeminate. Myron is gay. And Myron has a vengeance against women. This is what I'm trying to say when I say women live in a fantasy land a lot of times because of garbage like that. This is the difference. Men must live in a fact-based reality. If I'm a loser, I'm going to suffer for being a loser. Women won't fuck me. My friends won't respect me. I must go out there and produce and be a somebody. Would right? you girls date Women, him? hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you sound, you sound angry about that. And as soon as I say, if, if that's what you have to do, Myron, why are you mad? This is what I'm saying. Why are you mad that that's what you have to do if you are a loser? If you want to be a winner, you're going to have to work at it. Sorry if we don't have to work as hard as you to be winners. Stay mad, dude. Women, on the other hand, lie to each other, give each other comforting lies, say a bunch of bullshit like that. Like, you're, fa you're special. It's okay. It's your world. You're just living in it. Here's the thing. We literally just told them, this is what men look for. You want a man. You might want to understand what men want to get the man. We don't need your help in getting men. None of these women need help in getting men. <laughs> I like this is my thing like who told Myron that women need help getting men does it look like we're complaining about we can't get no men I, I do believe we are in abundance of choices this is the one thing that you guys complain about you complain that we have too many choices and the type and, and choosing a man I've never met a, a woman, and I'm sure they're out there, who is complaining, oh, I can't get no man, I can't get no man. I've never had that problem. I'm sure the women on this panel has never had no problem. And we don't need to seek you in how to get a man. Even before I got married, I never had a problem getting men. Never, ever. These women, they're all beautiful. All of different shapes and sizes, none of them have problems getting men. So what problem are you solving for us? Because we don't have a problem getting men. Maybe you have a problem getting men, but we don't have a problem getting men. However, it seems to me, especially from these women, they want a masculine dominant man. Not the guy that you got who's a f***ing cuck. So now, th this is unnecessary. Because he basically assumed that be once again, he's disagreeing with this woman. So he's going to call her husband a cuck. Now, remember, this is Myron, Mr. Ad Hom. Oh, if you ain't got no argument, you're going to go to Ad Hom. He did Ad Hom all throughout this podcast, all throughout it. This man projects a lot. He sits up here and say, don't, argue, don't interrupt me. He interrupts you. OK, he sit up here and say, don't talk over me. He talks over you. He sit up here and say, don't uh, if you ain't got no uh, women are so emotional that that when they don't have any arguments, they result to ad hom. Well, he don't have any arguments. He gets emotional and he resulted to ad hom. So he just called her husband a cuck. So how is that any different than when women call him gay, which he is?
building point of the conversation is... Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Because you're saying that this conversation is important. I think it is because a lot of women don't get to hear this perspective. We don't need to hear from you. And we're not going to take your advice. They hear a bunch of hunky-dory, woo-woo stuff that you're talking about, and they don't end up with the man that they want because well, they think men and women are equal. You are I'm trying to explain. Hold on, stop. Stop, stop, so stop, stop. Not stop, until you stop, work on stop. that Frank, is stop. that I'm you're talking. actually going to be honest Frank, and you're going to make talking. a point. I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay? Triggered. Very, very triggered. So this is what emotional men look like, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you see. See, stop letting these stupid men from the red pill think that they are not emotional. This man is very emotional. He's very triggered right now because here's a woman who's talking very softly. She's not raising her voice. She's not even putting her hand up. Look how aggro <laughs> Myron is right now. He's, he's very aggressive. He's very confrontational to a woman to a woman no real man talks to a woman like that except an insecure man an immature man or a hello gay man okay honey you're a guest on our platform okay so right. and i'm so addressing your point because you're trying yes. to say it's not important, whatever. I think if women listen to what we say, because we've saved a lot of relationships, we've saved a lot of men from no, coming. I think it's Lies. important Yo, shut because up. you're able to. Shut the to... fuck up. When I'm talking, shut up. You understand? Shut the fuck up. This is not your podcast. Why it's not do you your get platform. so triggered? And if you don't like it, you can leave. Talking. No, no, no. Okay. So here we have this woman is talking in a very monotone, soft voice. And because she will not submit to the so-called alpha which he's not he's a very effeminate man only an effeminate man ladies i want you to understand this only effeminate men do this understand this a real man will never result to cursing you out just because you're so-called interrupting him she never used profanity at him she never raised her voice and she's not even aggressively motioning towards him that's all the things that Myron is doing and then some. He's very triggered because he's very what? Emotional. So I want you ladies to see what emotional men look like. They are not the ones who are just logical. Does this look logical to you? No, this is very emotional. This is what an emotional man looks like. Myron is an emotional man. And when he sit up here and say that women are emotional, he is projecting. There was no need for him to yell at her. There was no need for him to curse at her. And now that he's mad, he wants to kick her out. This is what you call immature behavior. You're not doing what I want you to do. So I want you to go so I can control the narrative because you are not submitting to my lies. I'm not yelling Because you're at talking you. when I'm talking. I'm addressing your point and I'm giving you a response and then you're just talking. All right. Because you're not listening to understand. You're just hearing me to talk. That's, That's what you do all the time, Myron. You never listen to understand women. You listen to preach to women, to degrade women, to talk down to women, to slander women, and to preach to women. But you never listen to understand women. You have never done that ever in your life. But yet, we're the emotional one. Dude, you're so emotional right now. You're making me come on my period. What's the difference? You're saying a bunch of bullshit All that don't make estrogen. fucking sense. You're just repeating yourself. And the women here, like I said before, might not necessarily want a soft and timid boyfriend like you got that lets you run around him and have open relationships. At home again. So because he can't attack her because it's not working, what is he doing? He's attacking her husband. But the thing about it is she has a husband. Myron is not in a relationship. And please stop with the lies about him having three women. No, he doesn't. He can't even produce that. Okay? None of these guys are in a relationship. They are nothing but incels who just ran into money and now they're just flexing. So I'm, I'm just this right here. You could always tell if you're dealing with a toxic, immature, unhinged, emotional man. When you look at him, do this to another woman. Remember, I got I got to put emphasis on this. This is a man talking down, cursing, using profanity at a woman. Who's talking in a monotone? She's in her feminist state, but she's just she disagrees with him. And the only way he can basically get one up on her is talk about her husband, which everything he said about her is not true, to curse her, to yell at her, and then eventually kick her off.
A lot of the women here want a dominant masculine man that could tell you to shut the f up because clearly your guy doesn't do it. You talk too much. All right? So That's you guys what it wanna, is. wanna be talked like this? No, no, no. It's no. not about in the that. Future? I have to assert my dominance on a f masculine the... woman like you right now. Huh. That's what I have to do. How is she masculine? How is she masculine? She's not masculine. She is feminine. She got her, she got her nice hair done. She got her uh, legs closed. She actually, she's still talking in a very feminine voice. She's not even, she hasn't raised her voice not once. You have because you are emotional. You are an emotional, angry gay man who hates women. And you cursed at her again. And you can get up and leave at this point. So now he's triggered. He, he wants her to, to the conversation. leave. You tried to demean the conversation. It's been three hours. So no, no yes. you can get up and leave. I'm yes. Yeah. Thank you. Get up and leave. I've been trying get up and to. Leave. Get up and leave. You know it's you have been, been a trying pleasure. to. You guys are amazing. And just don't forget. Turner, don't just, let just, anyone just tell you leave. otherwise. Just get up okay? and get the out of here. Bye, Felicia. Just get the out of here. So this is, this is what we So now, look at the faces of the women. Look at the faces. This, this one right here, she's like, girl, I cannot believe I signed up for this. Look at her face, her face, her face. Look at how they're looking at. She's looking down. They are very uncomfortable. They're very angry. They do not like the situation they're in. So let me ask you something, men. Do you think you're going to get through women this way? Yeah. Keep hope alive because it's not going to ever happen. It's never going to happen. We will never listen to you under these circumstances. You are not effective. The only thing that people like Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Myron, Walter, and any of these other fools, Rolo Tomasi, the only reason they are actually making money off of you stupid clowns is because of the fact that you are incapable of getting women like this. Instead of them teaching you how to be better people and better basically uh, like women and love women and get along with women, they are teaching you how to hate women, how to degrade women, how to slander women, how to abuse women. And, and, and it's never going to work. If you're going to have a negative interaction with women this way, how do you think you're going to have that in real life, in real time? It will never work. But all I want to say is this. This is an emotional man, and I want you all to stop thinking that men are not emotional. The difference between men and women is that we're not ruled by our genitalia. Men, when their pain get hard, they lose all common sense, and they make stupid decisions underneath those circumstances as well. So they're at a more disadvantage than us. So I wanted you guys to see how emotional Myron gets, and I wanted to show it to you because I think telling it to you is not as effective as you seeing it right in front of your face.